Great. Well, in the flavour of Ignite, we've decided to call this uh, presentation Spontaneous Combustion. So what is spontaneous combustion? It's any explosion that actually occurs without any external ignition. And spontaneous combustion really does exist. It exists when you have a bale of hay and it gets hot in the middle and it explodes. Where it doesn't actually occur is in presentation. And when you stand up here in front of a group, uh, there is no such thing as spontaneous combustion. You actually have to set yourself on fire. And how do you do it? It's not that easy because audiences today, unlike you, are a little bit like those horses at riding schools where you've tried to ride them and you kick them but they're actually completely numbed to everything. And that, that has a name. It's called learned helplessness. So... How are we going to get over learned helplessness? What are we going to do? Firstly, we're going to look at the energy flow of a presentation, where it actually goes and how you're going to get that energy. So when you start off a presentation, what happens for many people, not here tonight, obviously, because everyone's been brilliant, but things just go flat. They're just fairly dull at the start and they go fairly dull at the finish. What we want is something that rises and finishes and you can see it's a big, uh, big energy at the beginning and a big energy at the end and, and has some flow. Now, when I stand here, I have absolutely none of that energy unless I make it happen. We've got fantastic slides that are coming up behind everybody, but I also have my voice and I have movement. Now, magicians really understand how if you move and then you stop that actually um, it, it creates people's excitement when you stop how do you stop how do you actually stand there have you ever thought about it there are really no rules but one really important thing is when you stop is just don't touch your genitals <laughs> Oh, God, you see it all the time. So um, what we want to do now, we've stopped, is actually get some energy, maybe in our gestures, on a timeline, maybe on some positive, maybe on some negative. We want to anchor some of these things. Think about a timeline. Think about it. Can you tell me, where's the future? Can you point to that? Point to the future. I'm not seeing many hands. I don't think you've thought about it. And yet it's really useful. They've used it. You know where they used it? That's the future. And it, and it like anchored a whole generation towards the future. So, Heil Hitler. Now, I'd like to uh, play a little game. I'd like you to get into threes, please. Could you just get into threes? Find a threesome amongst you. And I'd love you to give yourselves the letter A, B and C. Fast game's a good game. Could you decide who's the A, please? Could A's please put their hands up? Thank you. Could B's please put their hands up? A, could you please find out the name of person number B? Great. Now, this person number B, could you please introduce them to person number C? So, introducing person number B to person number C. Now, person number C, what you might find is that actually that person number A looked at you as they introduced person number B. But what's so interesting in presentation is that we seem to, we are person number A. The slide is person number B and the audience is person number C. Look at them. Don't look at the slide. And um, <laughs> uh, they don't have ears. They don't have ears. Talk to the audience. Now, now that we're facing the front, we actually need some power in our voice. So our last thing is, is our power in our voice. Now, this is something very misunderstood, and it's understood at the highest echelons. We seem to think that power is in the upper part of the body. Power is actually in the lower part of the body. And our last speaker was great the way he anchored down. But, uh, you know, not everybody does. And check out Julia, because what Julia does is she uses her head for power. And when we use our head for power, we get a certain vocal tone. It's not, it's not necessarily power. It's not a political statement. We all do it. Where we want is the power. We want it low in our body. We want to act on our diaphragm that gives us air that powers out of our mouth. So I'd love to hear your power right now. I'd like you to get low. I'd like you to go down low and give me a woof. Are you ready? One, two, three. Woof. Ladies and gentlemen, a presentation is not spontaneous combustion. You have to set your audience on fire. Thank you.